Afternoon everyone, morning everyone, evening to you all, hope you're well, hope you're having a lovely day, hope you're staying safe and all that. Um, I, I'm, just, I'm on night shifts at the moment, so you have to forgive the the face at the moment, we're, uh, we're knackered. Um, not doing these today, obviously, obviously for two reasons. One, I'm not at a beehive, point one, and two, it's probably not obvious, but the treatment that we've got on the bees today, uh, basically I want to change the tin in two weeks, in what was two weeks time, it's now one week. So I'm not going to let the bees and disturbing them today. So we're leaving them for this week and we're going to go and change the, the um, treatment on them next week. So that'll be a video for next week. But I said on my last video that I wanted to share a little bit about the ants and how they're doing. Um, now, if you are watching this and you're not a fan of ants and you're not a fan of ant keeping or anything like that, Little disclaimer, I suppose this is going to have ants in, and if you don't like that, then you probably don't want to watch this. But those that are interested, we're, uh, we're going to show you the updates with the ants now. I was quite excited about what I was going to show you today, up until, well actually I am still quite excited what I'm going to show you, but a little bit disappointed today because I've come down and I've found one of our ant colonies had one worker, and sadly that died today. So um, we've had to do a little bit of changing about with one of the one of the, uh, the colonies, but I'll pause you there, I'll take you to the ants, and I'll show you what I mean. So, we have our little ant set up bit going on here. They don't stay down here, they clip up on the shelf out of the way of the dogs and that. Um, we have got, in here, we have got our Compenatus Lignipurda. I pronounced that terribly, I'm sure I butchered that. But um, somebody that knows ants better than I do, they can probably say that better than I. Obviously you can't, if you can't read it properly, can you? Because if you read it properly, you read it how it sounds. Don't worry about that. Um, so this is our carpenter ants. Now I think I unraveled, unraveled her, unrevealed her uh, about a year ago. Now unfortunately they are incredibly slow growing ants and she hasn't grown much at all. Now sadly as well, this was the colony where we lost our worker. Now here's our queen down here, if it can come into focus. She is a stunning looking queen, massive ant, and she's got what at the moment two eggs in there. Now the problem that we had is we did have her in a nice little outworld uh, when she had a worker there. A worker went out, picked up the water, then went back and brought it to her because her original test tube, which she was in, let's pull off the right bit of paper, this one here, is completely dry. So this is completely dry, so she's not been able to get any water unless someone brings it to her. So in our outward, I had a little water tower and the, uh, the worker went and got it for her. Now sadly, because that one's passed, I now have to improvise. So we've attached it to this little outward here, which is a tiny little outward, but idea of what we need. And we've got another test tube of water. All the smudges, by the way, are on the outside, so don't worry about that. So the plan is hopefully, is to have her re relocate from this test tube to this test tube. We have got some food with some honey in here, but that's hopefully the plan. Now that is our first ant, that's our carpenter ant. Now not really much to say about her anymore because like I said, she's um, just gonna leave her there and see what happens with her basically, but she is beautiful. Lovely. So we're gonna know, I'm just gonna pause you there, I'm gonna move her out the way and pop her up on the shelf and then I'm gonna show you what else we've got, so bear with. Now this is, another test tube, trying to do it without disturbing them too much. And these are some ants, which I, well, I didn't actually catch the ants, I caught the queen in their nuptial flight, I think it's pronounced. So when you get those flying ant days, that's basically where all the little princesses are going out to get themselves matched up and mated with a male. And there we go. So I caught this queen here, which is the big one, if people didn't know back on back in the summer at some point i can't remember exactly when it was she um obviously didn't have any eggs or anything at, at all to start with and literally over the last few days she has exploded with little baby ants now the baby ants as far as i can remember are called nan nanintix or nanitix or something like that i can't remember how it's pronounced but um they're the first basically lot of ants that she's got now this is a lasis niger colony again probably pronounced that wrong but never mind and I originally had one of these, but unfortunately the whole colony died and went horribly wrong. So I'm really glad to have this second one up and running and hopefully doing really well. Now the plan of action today 
is because I don't really want to feed in a test tube. I hate feeding in a test tube just because it will get sticky and moldy and all sorts of stuff. So I'm not going to do that. So the plan of action today is we're going to relocate them into this bad boy of an enclosure, which I have already set up for them. A couple of twigs, bit of sand. Lovely, lovely. And we have... If I can pick this up. Do I drop it? Do I drop it? Do I drop it? I'm going to drop it. We have... A little bit of food for them and that is just honey just a little bit of honey and funnily enough we have got plenty of our own honey in order to uh, to feed the ants um, yes yeah, so that's our own honey now what we do is I'm gonna try and do this one-handed see how this works so I want to basically attach this here test tube to this here entrance points and I'll see what they do. So let's try and do this as quickly as I can, one handed, without losing any ants. And that basically sits on there, but that test tube is far too big for that, uh, for that holder. So I'll bodge something around there and tape up in a bit. So, actually I'll tell you what, I'll pause you there and I'm going to do that now. Hold on just a minute. There we go. So anyone that's been watching my channel for a while knows how much I like making things looking incredibly sophisticated. And on this occasion, that's no different. Get some tape, wrap it around, stick it down, happy days. Now what we've got now, so we have got this colony here which have got a load of more space which they're going to go and explore. So what should happen is a couple of ants are going to start being brave and exploring a little bit further out the side of the nest, which is obviously the test tube. And they'll come back, tell another ant, and then they will go a bit crazy. So I don't know how long it's going to take them to start moving on out, or at least exploring the new world for them. But I want to try and see as much as I can, as much as I can. You can see them all going a bit crazy down there, telling everyone about it. The queen should obviously stay put, there's still plenty of water in there for her, but the other ants should be able to start exploring, and the real reason I want to do this is not, well, because they are growing in size, this, the colony's getting quite big uh, for my little test tube to do, but also I don't like feeding in there, so this way allows me to feed them outside of the, outside of the, um, almost said hive, outside of their little brew chamber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you again there, I'm going to sit and wait for a few minutes and see if they do start exploring. And if they do, I'll bring it back. If they don't, I'll end the video and have a little chat at the end. But if they do, bear with me. Now, they're so little and so quick, I missed that almost. Oh, I did miss it, actually. I missed the first bit. But we have got one little brave ant, which is now out exploring its new world. Hopefully they discover the honey in a minute and go, ooh, yum, food. But they're going to go in there. They're going to start laying down some tracks. To go back to the colony, which is... Well, I would say it's buzzing, but I don't really want to say that because it's an ants video, not a bees video. Even our little queen's getting excited. Look, she's coming up there. Everyone is very excited about what's going on. And hopefully we're going to have a load of activity out there soon. But we have success. We have got the ants have explored the outworld. And they're going to go back and tell everyone else what's going on. I don't know what it's about them, but I can, I can watch them all day. They're fascinating things to watch. Like bees. But not quite like bees. Well, they're, they don't fly for one. Well, they do, but not these ones. You know what I mean. They're not bees. They're just fun to watch. Anyway, right, I'm going to pause you there, flip me around to myself, and I'll be back in just a moment. So that is today's video. Not bees. Definitely not bees. Ants. Now, I'm not... F don't even think that I'm going to turn this channel into an ants channel. I'm really not going to. I just like... <laughs> I like having ants, I think they're cool. I'm not gonna spend a massive amount of time with them like we do the bees. I'll show you them every now and again. If you wanna see more ant videos, click the link below, or not click the link below, the little bit 
hit the thumbs up bit below. But we're not going to become an ants channel. I just want to sporadically show them as and when we do. If you want ants, some really good ants channels. Ants Canada is a, is a primary one. Aesthetic Ants, brilliant one, who I get a lot of my kit from as well. So have a look at them if you're interested more in ant keeping. But as far as our channel goes, we are a beekeeping channel. We just have ants. <laughs> That's how we go. But those that have watched, thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, your comments, your likes, your subscriptions, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really appreciated. I'm going to put these ants to bed. Well, they're not, not to bed, but on the shelf. Ants on a shelf. And um, I'm going to go to bed because I am knackered. The joys of a night shift. So uh, once again, many thanks. You have a wonderful day and all the best to you. Take care.